Good evening guys, um, today we're going to talk about inter-VLAN routing which is basically um, being able to send information across VLANs. Um, as we all know VLANs are just uh, uh, logical uh, segmentation of, of switch interfaces to where they act as they were separate switches. Um, there's two ways to, to basically do in a VLAN route in VLAN routing. Um, one is to use a layer three switch, and the other way is to use a router on a stick configuration. Um, a router on a stick configuration uh, is used when you do not have a switch that is capable of routing layer three traffic, uh, basically a layer two switch. So uh, in that situation, you would need a, a router on a stick configuration to to handle the VLAN routing for that switch. So the configuration I have here is pretty simple. I have a, a switch over here that has three VLANs on it, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. And uh, these three hosts over here are connected, each one of them is connected to one of these VLANs. So the species on VLAN 10, the species on VLAN 20, and the species on VLAN 30. So these three PCs cannot communicate with each other at all even though they are on the same switch because they are on separate VLANs. That is why if we do have the reason for these com computers or these hosts to communicate amongst each other, we're going to have to route the traffic between VLANs and that is what we are here to do today. So without much ado, I am going to go ahead and configure the VLANs on, on the switches. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30 on the switches, on, on the switch over here. So we want to create three VLANs, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. So you do that by calling to VLAN. Uh, VLAN 10. I'm going to name it, you can name it whatever you want, but I'll name it VLAN 10. Uh, we create VLAN 20. It's as simple as that. VLAN 20. Name, we call it VLAN 20. And VLAN 30. VLAN 30 name VLAN 30 Oop, 30 so now I can do show VLAN and I can see that now uh, this is of course uh, the management VLAN was already there I have created these three VLANs VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 and um, as of now there are no interfaces assigned to those VLANs so we'll go ahead and do that um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and assign IP addresses to this to these interfaces, uh, these VLAN interfaces. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our VLAN interfaces on and give them IP addresses. So the way you do that is um, interface VLAN 10, I'm going to give it a 10.1.1. Interface VLAN 20, I'm going to give it a 20.1.1. And then 30, we're going to be 30.1.1.1. So let's go ahead and do that. VLAN 10, change this to app, and then I'm going to give an IP address of 10.1.1.1 and a prefix of 24, so we got 25.255.0. Okay, once we have that done, we'll give an IP address to VLAN 32, so um, I mean VLAN 32, so conf t into VLAN 30, we we'll give it an IP address of 30.1.1.1, 255.255.255.0, and I think the last one we have is uh, into uh, I'm sorry, conf t into VLAN 20, 20. So IP address. It's going to be 20.1.1.1 with a 
subname asx255.255.255.0 okay so now I can do show IP interface brief and I can see that my VLAN interfaces have been assigned these IP addresses so we've got the ver very first part that we need done so now that we have these VLANs and the IP addresses on the switch uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign interfaces to, to the VLAN so what I have here is my VLAN 30 uh, VLAN 10 is gonna have uh, interfaces 3 to 10 on on that switch so anything from 3 to 10 is going to be in VLAN 10 so let's go ahead and put those interfaces before I do that let's let me show you show VLAN see VLAN 10 it has no interfaces assigned to it so we're going to take the interfaces from the management VLAN and put them here and the ones we want are from 3 to 10 is what we're going to take so the way you do this is and of course you you can go to each interface and and assign it to that VLAN or you can use a very key command called the range command so instead of doing just one interface I can do a bunch of interfaces at once and the way you do that is by calling interface range and then fast Ethernet I want from 0 3 to 10 so so now every command that I enter is going to be applied to uh, interfaces uh, 0, 3 to 10. So what, what do I want to do with those interfaces? I want to put them in VLAN 10. So I'm going to say switch port access VLAN 10. So if I now, if I do show VLAN, forgive me, can type. show VLAN you can see that interface 3 to 10 have been added to VLAN 10 so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue and put the interfaces for 20 and 30 in here so for 20 interface to, uh, for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 we're gonna put you know these interfaces in there so let's go ahead and do that for 20 we want 11 and 16 to be on VLAN 20 so I'll go ahead and do that real quick just like I did the other one So give me call interface range, fast Ethernet, zero, seven. Uh, can't remember what I said. Uh, it's eleven to sixteen. So I'm going to do eleven to sixteen, and then switch board access, access VLAN twenty. So. So we're going to put uh, interface range fast Ethernet uh, Uh, interface 0, 17 to 20 and we're going to put it in VLAN 30 so switch port access VLAN 30 so let's show our VLANs and we can see that the interfaces that we want have been added to those VLANs so that is one step done um, I am going to continue the rest in another video, so watch the second video for the continuation of this.